Acceleration is a quantity that's often confused because it's used very differently in our everyday language than its specific physics definition. Just like velocity and displacement, acceleration is a vector quantity, meaning that it has both a magnitude or a size and a direction. In physics, acceleration is the rate at which an object's velocity is changing. And if an object's velocity is changing, it's considered to be accelerating. An object is considered to be accelerating if its velocity is increasing or getting larger and if it's decreasing or getting smaller. Both changes in velocity are considered to be acceleration. Often in our everyday language, acceleration is confused with being fast. Now just because an object is fast does not mean that it's accelerating. This is because acceleration relates specifically to changes in velocity and it has nothing in particular to do with how fast or how slow an object is moving. We'll be looking specifically at a constant acceleration or a velocity that is changing by the same amount in a certain amount of time. For example, a velocity that's increasing by 30 miles per hour every minute. There is such a thing as a non-constant acceleration where an object's velocity is changing, but it doesn't change at a constant rate. Let's look at an example of constant acceleration where an object's velocity is changing by the same amount every second. As we can see from this data table, this object's velocity changed from zero meters per second at zero seconds to 20 meters per second at five seconds. This represents a change in velocity of four meters per second every second. That means that every second, that object is getting four meters per second faster. If we look at this specifically, at zero seconds, it was moving at zero meters per second. But at one second, it was now moving at four meters per second. At two seconds, it was moving at eight meters per second. Again, we can see that it's increasing its velocity by four meters per second every second. Now we show acceleration by representing the change in velocity divided by the amount of time it took for that velocity to change. In this example that we looked at, this is four meters per second change in velocity every second. And there are lots of different units that we can use for acceleration. For example, the meters per second per second that we've shown, or it could be miles per hour per minute, miles per hour per second, or any combination of a change in velocity being divided by a ton. And the standard units of acceleration in physics are meters per second per second, or this can also be represented as meters per second squared. The common representations are dot diagrams, or sometimes they're called motion maps, position versus time graphs, velocity versus time graphs, and we can add acceleration versus time graphs. We can also do a mathematical or a verbal description of acceleration. Let's take a closer look at motion with a constant acceleration represented on a dot diagram. To do this, we're gonna compare the dot diagram of motion with a constant velocity to a dot diagram of motion with a constant acceleration. This will help us to identify some key differences between these two major types of motion. We're gonna start with an example of a vehicle that has an oil leak. And every second, one drop of oil is going to drop out of that car and it will leave behind a dot diagram which will show where that car was at each second and that we can then use to represent and to look at that motion. As we look at the dot diagram of constant velocity motion, we can see that the object has moved the same distance every second. But when we compare this to motion with the constant acceleration, we can see that the object moves more and more every second. This is because this object has an increase in its velocity every second. And therefore, the distance that the object travels is more and more each second. Some of the key differences that we can see when we compare these side by side are that the constant velocity motion moves the same distance every second, whereas the object with motion of constant acceleration moves more and more each second. As we add in the vectors to represent the velocity onto our dot diagram, we can also see that the constant velocity motion has arrows that are consistent and the same size each second. Whereas the vectors representing velocity on the motion with constant acceleration are larger and larger each second. In fact, they're larger by the same amount each second, thereby showing that the velocity increases by the same amount every second. And on dot diagrams of motion with a constant acceleration, we can add vectors that represent this acceleration or this change in the velocity each second. 
Now we should be careful that this arrow represents the change in the velocity at each dot or at each second as well. This helps us to highlight some of the key differences between motion with a constant velocity as compared to motion with a constant acceleration. And each representation of motion will show these differences in its own way.